Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Brian and Jim here with Drink a Beer and Play a Game, and today we're going to review Party Hard for the PC and Mac. Released in 2015, this was developed by Pinnacle Games? Pinnacle? I'll go with Pinnacle. And was published by Tiny Build Games. It's basically a stealth action game, and it's something I really haven't seen too much like before. So let's get right into it. As far as graphics go, we actually liked it a lot. It's very retro inspired, it's very minimalistic, kind of. The levels are bright and colorful, and the first thing that comes to my mind would be the more popular Hotline Miami, but this is a way different game than that. It goes for a certain style and it does it pretty much well. And in the side note, the death animations in this game, there's a ton of them, and they're varied and they're all really cool. The game's got its own kind of humor to itself. So we both gave it sixes. It's good, obviously not perfect, but it does what it's trying to do. And as far as beers go, I'm really not gonna add any. You don't need any help enjoying this. The sound. I love the music in this game. I absolutely friggin' adore it. It's so well produced. It sounds so good. It sounds like a party every time and they're so varied even though a lot of the tracks are very similar, if not the same, but maybe switched up a tiny bit. But it just, it all sounds so good. And there's voice acting too fully voiced cutscenes. They do a really good job considering this was made by a small developer. Come on, Darius. Let's go home. The sound effects is where the game falls a little bit because there's some, but there's really not a lot here. There's a couple screams, there's a couple sounds of traps and kills, but besides that, that's very tiny. But Jim, watch me dance to the music! God damn it. Don't you like my moves? I'd fuck me. Da oh, 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 great, great. I'm not sleeping tonight now. Anyway, now to get that vision out of my head, I'm gonna add two beers to the sound, just because it's. If it just had more sound effects, it would be it would be a ten. It would be an easy ten with more sound effects. The control in this game is damn near perfect. And let me say right off the bat, I love that this is one of the PC games where you can use a USB controller and it makes your life a hell of a lot easier. But one of my controllers broke while actually recording the live stream and I switched over to the keyboard. This game's actually not bad on the keyboard either, so I can't really fault it. The only issue I have is that it took a little bit of a nuance and getting used to to figure out using the special abilities or the stab or the pickup button. I kept switching them up in my head. Sure, it could have been the amount of beer I was drinking when playing, but I'm not going to say that was the case. I just know sometimes I accidentally killed people when I didn't mean to, or if I used a special ability when I didn't mean to. It just seemed a little finicky at times. So, as you see, we both gave it nines. It's almost perfect. Just could have used a... I don't even know. Something was off for me. And as far as beer is concerned, mm, I'm only going to add one just for my own goddamn ignorance. Man, the gameplay. This is a unique experience. I've played plenty of games where you go around as a killer, such as Manhunt, Hitman, but none with such dark humor and done in such a lighthearted way, if that makes any sense. Your goal is to eliminate everyone at the party, and all your guy wants is some goddamn sleep. The only way he can get it? Murder everyone in sight. And you have a variety of ways of doing it. You can do the standard, just stab them in the face or the back, or you could set off a trap. There are so many goddamn different traps. You can set off a car to run over a group of people. You can set someone on fire. You can throw them off a side of a building. There's a ton of them and I'm not gonna name them all. So, a little homage back to our old videos. I'm gonna do a little quick montage showing a whole bunch of the kills. Ah, sweet murder. So anyway, I gave it a 9, Jim gave it an 8. This is a game that you're either really going to love, or you're not going to like, because the gameplay can become a bit tedious. As far as beer is concerned, no need for beer here, just keep dancing your heart off. Originality. We gave it 8s because, honestly, we haven't really played a tongue-in-cheek mass murder game like this before that requires a lot of stealth and a lot of strategy and planning. It's just an experience that 
Sure, maybe there's something else out there like that, but if there is, we haven't played it. If you know of any, hell, let us know, because we love this game. It's just, the way it all comes together is really, really cool. And it's a great, unique kind of gameplay experience. I'm not adding be any beers, because as far as originality goes, this is really original to us. Alright, as far as the replayability, this is a number me and Jim had to keep going back on, because there's only one story mode and only one ending, and I'm not going to spoil it for you. But there are four different characters. Now, really, each character, they just have different perks or special abilities. So it varies in, in the amount of times you can play with that. The biggest reason we gave this as high as we did is because the levels become randomized with the number of traps, number of people, if the cops come, if SWAT comes. So you're really not gonna get the same experience even if you replay the same level multiple times. And I can tell you, sometimes you're just hoping you get a really easy level with less amount of people and the cops don't come. It's a crapshoot, so we gave it eights. Other than the fact the levels are so goddamn random, that is where all the replayability lies, and we can appreciate that. I'm going to add two beers just because when I've tried to play through with the other characters, it was a little too buggy, so that's why you're not going to see footage from those other characters. Overall, surprise, surprise. This game was just an awesome sur surprise for me. Good one. I don't know words, but we really like this game a lot. It offered a good sense of humor, an amazing soundtrack, easy to pick up gameplay and some of those levels got really intense and you really had to strategize really well strategize i said i'm not good with words strategize i'm not i am good. buying you with thesaurus i'm not good with words so as you see from our scores we both gave it eights there's nothing to hate about this game and when we round up all of our scores together we get a total for a 7.9 that's almost right on the money with what our overall opinion is. So make sure you go out and spend the five bucks, play this game. It's worth it. As far as a beer pairing is concerned, we're going to have to go with the beer we always think of when we think parties. We're going to keep it simple. Bud Light. It's not our favorite beer, but it gets the job done and you can drink a shit ton of these. And a game like this allows you a lot of sips, so you're not going to want any high alcohol IPAs or stouts. Stick with a Bud Light. Or if you want to spice it up, make it a Bud Light Lime. Who cares? Either way, grab a case and enjoy yourself. As always, guys, thanks for checking out this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave some comments, or better yet, why not subscribe? Till next time, guys. Cheers.